You guys want to see some judges rip attorneys a new The baby shower. The 18th is going to be the day I'm supposed to be there, but I'm not. I'm in base oil and I'm calling Billy. Why does it sound like he's speaking in incorrect subtitles, but this is legitimately what he's saying. <laughs> I'm in Batesville and I'm calling Billy every time. Metal detector. Cut the barbed wire fence. <laughs> and I know it because they show up at my house. Metal detector. Cut the barbed wire fence. Through 20 interviews. Objection, Your Honor. This is just characterization. 20 interviews. That's the proper hey. argument to yeah. your argument. You may proceed, Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Did you say something? I didn't say a word. Spirit, I, I told you about that attitude. You would not, under your breath, be disrespectful to this court, sir. You argued things he has a right to ask, or not to uh, overrule your argument. To, have you sat down and said, of course it is? It I, is a proper argument. Mr. Perry, it's a proper argument to your argument. You may proceed, Mr. Andrew. That was black grandpa right there. He said, what'd you say? Okay, subtle. Subtle, but nice. Subtle, but nice. Judge, I think there was a question there suggesting that the attack, the dog bite, and I think there was something else was going on before any shots were fired. Yeah, sure I, I don't even know what exactly. the, I, I don't even know what the factual basis is for that. Judge, I can ask a witness. No, you whether, can't. No, you hmm. can't. Not without a factual basis. Okay. You can just can't ask for speculation. That's what you're asking I'm for. Asking you a question. He looks like the most typical attorney, <laughs> like in a movie. Like this is this is a movie with the, the glasses down and everything. If a witness says that something happened, I can't ask them. If you've you've asked them happen. 500 questions about what happened, about her recollection of it, which is fine. Now you're asking, well, are you sure it didn't happen before? You have no basis to ask but that. Her recollection is horrible. No, it's she's not. Changed, she's changed her story over it, it and over. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it's Mr. Belinkus, it does not allow you to suggest to this jury to engage in speculation. Thanks to Kara for sponsoring this video. It's a new year, and we're all trying to stay healthy. And look, I'm not going to the gym like I'm supposed to be. I went today, but every day is a struggle, okay? But you know what's not a struggle? Taking my daily multivitamin, because Care Of makes it easy. Look at this cute little pack. <laughs> They're all right here. Care of has made it super easy to build a routine in the mornings. And you know what I like the most about it? The convenience. I'm traveling all the time and I don't want to like sort all my pills in one of those little multivitamin things. Or I don't want to be taking a whole bunch of pills through TSA. Listen, all I got to do is grab a couple of these, count how many your trip is, throw them in the bag and you're good to go. Your personalized vitamins every day. Care of only supplies high quality vitamins. So I'm able to take the whole package with a meal and I feel great throughout the entire day. Like I said, with Care Of, it's easy to build great habits and stick to a routine. So you can take Care Of's quiz to find out what's recommended for you. It's personalized. And all you gotta do is use my code BOSE50 and you'll get 50% off, 50% off. Ain't nobody offering discounts like that, 50%. Just use BOSE50 and take your vitamins which is what you're doing. Oh, I love when judges shut, shut down speculation because speculation can really throw off a whole case. It's finally here. Both versus the world merchandise. You can get this one, you can get this one, and there's other designs on our site. Listen, these are the pre-orders right now, but you should have them by February. And after this, we're just gonna do a small limited release of the remainder of this collection, and then the next one's coming out. Don't wait. Don't you? I know not all of you guys like to dress like a little dude, but I like to dress like a little dude. So I always suggest get a size up, fold up the sleeves, get you like a little camo pants, some combat boots, throw on a little black beanie. So cute. Okay, I got you. You can look like a cute little dude. <laughs> We've got lots of designs, okay? You need a factual basis. That is black letter law 101. My factual basis, Judge, is that these people, both Cataract and Goodwin, you know, have, have a motive to lie with regards to what happened. They, they you can pretend that anyone has a motive to lie. It's a lot easier than you guys think to just falsely accuse somebody. 
of something and then claim they have a motive to lie, okay? Even assuming all that's true. So what? There's no evidence, no, but there's no evidence in the record. That's like saying, well, isn't it true that a stranger drove down the road when Michael Barrison was there and got out of his car and the stranger was the one that actually shot you, not Mr. Barrison. <laughs> That's the same situation. There's no evidence in the record that that happened. You're just trying, you, you, you're trying to create in the jury's mind some alternate issue without any facts in the record to support it. That's now, the, Mr. Barrison. I mean, that's the typical defense attorney method, but sometimes they actually have that little piece of evidence that can make it admissible. When we're going to testify about something that's different. But the experts have said he doesn't remember anything about the incident. He, look, this attorney had one point. This is all he had. Again, whatever ruling you, you make, obviously, I, I abide by it. But in this particular case, this witness's testimony, as well as her boyfriend, which are basically the only two pieces of evidence. No, and the 911 call, mm -hmm. okay. which lays out exactly what, what happened, happened immediately after the shooting. Mm. Immediately mm. after the shooting, and I believe I can question the timing of the shooting based on their inconsistent statement, their motivation to lie. And, and no, the, you're not going to not not to create some alternate universe scenario without mm. something in the record. Well, I can't get anything in the record, Judge, unless I could ask these questions. No, uh, there's plenty in the record so far. The attorney's entire case hinges on this speculation being admissible. <laughs> so he's. <laughs> My man is fighting for his life right now. For someone to it be shot. Mr. Belinkus, I can't predict what's going to go on on the record in the future when other witnesses testify. If the scenario changes, then you can ask it then. At this point in time, there's nothing in the record to suggest the scenario that you want to ask in a question for the jurors. There's not. Judge, okay. That's my ruling. End of it. Oh. Judge erupts at Holzman defense attorney. Mm, that's my nosy look. Mm, that's the face I make when I'm when I'm holding the cup up to my neighbor's wall. It looks like it was uh, dismissed. However, she was forced to pay restitution. Are you kidding me that oh. you, oh. it was dismissed and you're bringing up something that was dismissed? Ah! And you know that that cannot be impeached? Um. You know what, Mr. Schwartz, you know the rules of Montgomery or the Illinois Supreme Court rules and the <gasps> rules of evidence regarding impeachment, do you not? about to get punished. Yes, I do, Judge. And how I... long have you been practicing law to know <laughs> those rules? <laughs> a long time, Judge. Yes, and how many times have you filed a motion uh, in limine to bar your clients, uh, who you represent in the past, their prior criminal convictions from coming in? He Several said, "Speed, times. precision, so no mercy." Of the rule that only you can be impeached with a felony conviction or a misdemeanor conviction involving dishonesty. Correct? Oh my God! Yes, Judge. So why did you happen to bring this out as a part of your strategy? Dude, this is how you know you screwed up. When somebody, you know, asks you five questions and you just have to say yes. And so after it all, like, it's the I thing when they're like, explain to me how you possibly. <laughs> Judge, I became aware of it this morning. And as you know, I only have one eye. Oh, uh, wait a minute, Mr. What? Schwartz. I gave you time what? for a recess for you to prepare for this question, for to cross-examine this witness. You said that you were ready. I kind of want to watch this. Look at this. Fake cancer trial. Mom fakes cancer, blames mental illness. <sighs> Man. Oh, you made a very serious mistake here, Mr. Schwartz, and there are going to be sanctions because you know, and I don't believe Ooh. that you're saying that you didn't know it wasn't dismissed. You had ample opportunity to know who this witness was and to wh whether or not there was a conviction. You did this as part of your strategy, and you made oh. a mistake. And there are going to be sanctions, and I haven't quite decided what those sanctions Ooh. are going to be, but I'm going to tell the jury that that question was wholly improper. 10 out of 10. I liked it. It was, it was smooth and relentless. The one thing that I love more than an angry judge, a powerful judge, a strong judge, is 
A sassy witness. I love a sassy witness. And you also do the dialysis work? I do. Is that full time? What do you mean by full time? Well, it typically means 40 hours a week, something like that. Uh, I wish I worked 40 hours a week. Okay. And so does my family. <laughs> so the question's still out there. Do you work? I, I work a, a great deal of hours every week. And, you know, the, I'm not being glib, but the real answer is I, I see every patient every week, and I, I work as long as I need to. It's variable. Sometimes it's many, many hours. Sometimes it's less hours. Approximately how many hours a week do you work in dialysis? I, I don't know. I couldn't quantify that, sir. I, I, don't, I don't keep track of that. I wonder if he really just can't track them. It varies so much. Or if he knows this guy has a certain angle. It's so difficult for you to answer my questions. It was so easy for you to answer, Mr. Chernoff. Objection argument. Is Sustained. You need not respond. Your next so, question, Mr. Walker. You can't answer how many hours you work in dialysis. Is that correct? What you're asking me is extremely nonspecific, and I'm telling you honestly, I don't measure. I don't even know if we're on his side, but I like his demeanor. How many hours did you work in dialysis last week? I, I, I don't know. I was specific. I, I was at the dialysis unit Monday morning and afternoon, Tuesday for a few hours, Friday for a few hours. Would that, you, that's, that's my typical week. Sometimes you, I go on Thursday, okay, sometimes so I don't. Lot. Sometimes I go on Tuesday, sometimes I don't. Would you agree that uh, in the field of addiction medicine, that it needs to be confronted as a real clinical disease with oh, very real... Someone just said it. Oh my God, this is the Michael Jackson murder trial. That's crazy because I was just thinking about this. I need to do a video. This is the doctor that administered the anesthesia in the Michael Jackson trial. That's, that's the doctor with the propofol. From the Cliffside Malibu website where your picture is posted, it states, as is true of any disease, addiction can only be overcome with intensive medical specialized care. Which is provided at Cliffside Malibu, not by Dr. Waldman all the time. Hmm. But you agree with that assessment? I think it's a great assessment. And you, of course, in your experience, have uh, had patients come to you that had previously received subpar or incompetent uh, addiction care. That's why uh, they said he, he was an addiction specialist. Okay. And came to you and you were able to help them, correct? Your words, sir, not mine. I'm sorry. Are you going to? Uh, I, I have no answer. I think a Okay, so I, I he, he actually, statement. he's not even a sassy witness. He just doesn't want to answer no, because... you're actually putting the words in my mouth. Would you Your Honor, would the court instruct the, the witness to He's not on his side. Thank you. A cross-examination is, in essence, putting words in your mouth which you can either accept or reject. I reject. Okay. So you have never had a, a patient come to you that you determined had received incompetent care and you were subsequently able to help them. You've never had that happen? Sir, I, I never embellish what I do by denigrating what one of my colleagues Yeah, he's does. not really sassy. A he's addiction just Addiction treatment. Maria, you were before the court on a previous occasion. My son, I believe, did, sir. Well, it was your registration. Yes. Right? The motor vehicle was booted. It was before me. Oh, yes. It's got a lovely hat. I only <laughs> find I charged $140. I haven't seen this guy. You guys all know him? That is what my son said, yes. And a hundred dollars was due to remove the boot, and the balance of forty dollars was due three years ago. That's what my son said. Yes. Yeah. Wait, why is he so good? And the, he became on, he, he came on my behalf. I couldn't because he, of my health. But he never paid the forty dollars. Apparently not. I just found out. After I gave him a big break. I just found out. Right. That's I didn't know one. that. Okay. Now, who drives this car? You or your son? My son takes it from the driveway and puts it. How old is it, your son? Well, then he was 21, full of vin and vin vinegar, and he still is. He's 24. Vinegar? He's 24 years old. Does he work? What? Yes. All right, so we can help you pay for these tickets. <laughs> um, is in paying? theory, he could. Look, you know something? I'm, I'm beginning, I will pay for my I'm ticket. beginning to find out why your son does this, because you, because you, you make excuses no, I will for pay him. My, I will pay for my I ticket. understand that. But you give me the, oh, my son, you know, oh, my son, oh, he's off duty. The car's in your name. He's the 24 years old. The car's in my name, old. and I will pay for the ticket, Your Honor. Give him some responsibility. 
Give him some resp- you know them. how you give him some responsibility? You take the keys to the car, you say, okay, you're independent. My husband passed away seven years ago, and life has not been easy. So oh. I will pay for the ticket, and we'll just leave it at that. Just, 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 I'll be, I'll I almost feel on. like she's saying that her husband would have been the one to tell him that, but she, she can't really do it. I'm really not trying to be no, mean. No, no, no. This listen is personal. This is just listen to me. I'm no, not this is to, personal. Not I'm anything not tr- to do with this. I, I understand. I'm not trying to be oh, no. mean to you. I'm really, I'm really oh, not. Oh no, I, I no, just no. To, this has nothing to do with you, sir. I was just trying to give you some friendly advice, really. You know. Okay, sorry. We're going into Bo's, Bo's speculation world here. It kind of makes sense to me that she would start crying when he gets upset with her because she doesn't push back on her son for anything, probably because she's afraid of him getting upset. So if she just lets her son do whatever he wants, then he never gets mad at her and she never gets upset. So then this judge gets upset with her and that's exactly why she doesn't reprimand her son because she's like, no, 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 I can't handle this. I can't handle this. There's a million stories in the big city, right? So I, I understand that. So I know it's personal, right? How are you coping with it, okay? <laughs> oh, well. he asked, that's so nice. No, well. This too shall pass. Maria, is there something we can do to help you? Uh, bring my husband back so things can well, balance out. Dude, no. the dichotomy of her saying this too shall pass, and then he's like, can I do anything? She's like, oh, bring my husband back. Wow, what two completely different statements. On one hand, it's what the world is telling her, like, hey, time heals all wounds. You'll get over it. But in her, in her heart, she's like, why am I fucking hurting so bad? She still wants her husband back. So she doesn't have the tools to deal with this grief. You need a lot of tools for that at once. You need a lot, okay? Sir? If I could wave, bad, I could wave a magic wand, I would do it for you. you know. No, really. Okay. Things are what they are. But I thank you. Are you working? I'm disabled. I used to work for the health department for almost 25 years. A lot of times when people trauma dump, like they're doing one of two things. One they finally feel like they have an opportunity that somebody's gonna listen and they're hoping for a reaction where they care. They're like, okay, if I just say this, maybe somebody will tell me how bad it really was. <laughs> then another part is sometimes they're just letting it out. They think it's an opportunity to be heard. Dude, I, I actually feel for that lady. The full fine, <laughs> the full fine paying everything. There's a hundred dollar boot fee and a hundred and ten dollars for the tickets is two hundred and ten dollars. We're gonna use funds from the Philomena Fund, as I indicated earlier, it's from friends from all over the world, from people who wanna help, people that are in need. You oh, sorry, are guys. in need. I hope you not need that much longer. I hope things turn around, I hope they get brighter for He's you. He's very nice. You have an opportunity to smile. If I was a little harsh at you at the beginning, I wasn't doing Oh no, it. Your Honor, you weren't. This is my between my Okay, I wasn't son doing it to embarrass you or anything. I was doing it to try to help you. Sometimes oh. when I'm watching stuff, I feel like somebody's trying to manipulate with emotion or use an oh pity me. And I just don't get this at all from this lady. I see, in my opinion, I see a person that has bottled up a lot of pain that doesn't know how to deal with it. I know that you're trying to be a great mother. You are a good great mother. We gotta get your son to join you in that endeavor okay yeah good luck to you thank you your honor yeah and tell her son to stop being a help your mom out